Hi, I'm Bruce Philpott. I had some stuff around the house in the studio that I wasn't using for its original purpose, and I thought, I'll bet I could build a teleprompter out of this. So I'm going to show you how I built a teleprompter. What I had was uh, this steel tray that uh, you can mount you can mount a monitor on and uh, use it for remote shooting, for tethered shooting. Uh, and of course, uh, a Manfrotto magic arm. So that uh, becomes a single unit. And I had a laptop that is old and small, and, but in this case, its smallness is, is a, an asset. I also have this think tank shroud for looking at your laptop outdoors. They're the people that make the camera bags. And I found that I could put this on top of this tray. And I enlarged the hole in the back here. And I'm able to slip the laptop through it. And I cut a hole in the back here so I can put my camera lens through it. Um, you're probably familiar with how a teleprompter works. As the speaker looks at the camera, he sees his script scrolling right in front of the lens. Really, it's scrolling inside out in mirror writing on a computer screen. That inside out text is simply reflected on a piece of glass or clear plastic that's 45 degrees in front of the lens. That way, the speaker sees it reading correctly. The camera, of course, doesn't see this scrolling text. It just sees the speaker. Okay, so let me show you how I put mine together. Um, I have some software that's called Easy Prompter. It's terrific and it's free. Here's the URL so you can download it later. You can type your script in here, or better yet, you can copy your existing script from whatever program it's in and paste it in here. Much easier. Then you can flip your text by clicking here. Be sure to download their mirror font. That way it will read right side out in the reflection. When you start the prompter, you'll see your script wrong side out. You can adjust the speed of the scrolling text, and you can adjust its size. You just click this play icon to make the script scroll for you. What I did to make this visible is my, my laptop can lie flat. Now, lying flat like this makes it work really well for me. Your tablet may work fine for you, too. Um, I don't own a tablet, but I made this PVC rig that I haven't even glued together. I haven't bothered to paint it black. I don't think there's any need to do that. Uh, I like the fact that I can take this all apart and put it in a small drawstring bag and it's, it's very portable. I went to Tap Plastics and had them cut me a, a piece of clear acrylic. I'm not going to give you any measurements because yours will be entirely different. But I'm able to mount this clear plastic at 45 degrees. And looking at it from this direction, you'll be able to see it reading right because it's in mirror writing on the other side. Um, at first, I got a piece of eighth inch plastic. And I thought eighth inch would be plenty thin, thin enough. Eight, you know, that's very thin. But I found that I was getting a double image because the text was reflecting from both surfaces of the plastic. So, 16th of an inch is much better. And now I just put stick the laptop into the sun screen. So we take this and mount it on the stand. And you take your camera rig, whatever rig you happen to have, with a follow focus on it, if that's what you're going to use. If your subject is not moving, of course, you don't need that follow focus. So here we have the camera seeing through the uh, plastic. Turn it around this way so I can be on camera. As you see from the camera side, the camera operator side, 
all you see is me. You don't see any t text scrolling. From looking over my shoulder, I see the text scrolling, and that's just what we want. A lot of people don't read as well as they speak, of course, and if you have difficulty with somebody reading a script the way they would not speak, uh, you might find it easier to put a, an outline in front of them. Uh, that's my preference, actually, is to have the outline. Let's get this down out of harm's way. And that way they can just look at the outline, just as if they're giving a, a PowerPoint speech. But it's much more entertaining to watch them look at you instead of uh, staring at their, their, their flipboard. So I hope this inspires you to make a teleprompter for yourself. Talk to you next time.